Hi students, welcome back to SRDGPU College JE Coaching Classes. I am your Siddhaya, Maths Faculty. Today our topic is Sets and Relations. We will see the first question. If n of a equal to 8 and n of a intersection b equal to 2, then n of a intersection B whole dash intersection A is equal to option A 2, option B 4, option C 6, option D 8. The students given n of A equal to 8 number of elements in A and number of elements in A intersection B equal to 2 then what is the value of n of A intersection B whole dash intersection A that equal to you know the De Morgan's loss that is A dash union B dash intersection A. A intersection B whole dash equal to A dash union B dash. Now it is union and intersection distributive law we have to apply here. That is A dash intersection A union B dash intersection A that equal to N of a dash means complement of A. So, complement of A and A both are disjoint sets. Hence, that it is empty set. Union B dash intersection A means we can write one more way. A minus B also. So, what is this union? That is A minus B. Hence, if you take the Venn diagram this is A and this is B. Let it be. Then A minus B, we can take it as A only. What is this called? A minus B. A minus B means A only. So A only how to find? N of A minus N of A intersection B. That we have to subtract. That is N of A minus N of A intersection B. Then what are the given values here? 8 n of a minus 2 that equal to 8 minus 2 equal to 6. So the final answer is 6. What's the next question? The number of non-empty subsets of the set 1, 2, 3, 4 is option A 15, option B 14, Option C, 16. Option D, 17. The students, here the given question is set 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of non-empty subsets. Here this word is very very important. Non-empty subsets. Non-empty subsets means the subsets it will start with first empty set only. The power set. Power set of a set. It will start the first subset is empty set only. Then singleton elements 1, 2, 3, 4 like this we will take we will continue like this double elements and triple elements and four elements. What is the number of subsets means formula 2 power n n represent number of elements that equal to 2 power 4 that equal to 16 but here 2 power n is this total number of subsets. What is empty set here? Only one set that is 5. Number of non-empty subsets are remaining all. So just we have to subtract from total subsets. Just one subset empty subsets we have to delete. Then we will get number of non-empty subsets. Hence it is 16 minus 1 equal to 15. So what is the number of non-empty subsets? 15. That you can take directly number of subsets minus 1 like that also we can write so what is the number of non-empty subsets 15 what's the next question if n of a equal to 3 n of b equal to 6 and a subset of b then the number of elements is a union b equal to then the number of elements in A union B is equal to option A 
थ्री ऑप्शन बी नाइन ऑप्शन सी सिक्स ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दिस गिवन एन ऑफ ए इक्वल टू थ्री एन ऑफ बी इक्वल टू सिक्स and a subset of b then n of a union b very simple logical question so n of a union b no need to apply the formula here n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b that formula is no need clearly a subset of b means the all elements in a are related to b only the all elements is included in b then we can take n of a union b equal to n of b only because all elements what you have in a that are already belongs to b hence n of a union b equal to n of b only that equal to n of b given 6 so very logical question if a subset of b a union b equal to b if b subset of a a union b equal to a so what is the answer for this one n of a union b equal to 6 What's the next question? Out of 800 boys in a school, 224 played cricket, 240 played hockey, and 336 played basketball. Of the total, 64 played both basketball and hockey. 80 played cricket and basketball, and 40 played cricket and hockey. 24 played all the three games. then the number of boys who did not play any game is option a 128 option b 216 option c 240 option d 160 the students total boys in a school 800 and cricket playing boys hockey playing boys basketball and hockey and basketball cricket and basketball cricket and hockey and cricket hockey and basketball all three games but the question is number of boys who did not play any game so how to find this one it is through venn diagram it will be easy for you first so it is a b c like the three sets we can take and it is the universal set then here given c h b cricket hockey and basketball then who did not play any game means the answer is n of u minus n of c union h union b that we have to find to find this one first we have to find n of c union h union b that equal to formula n of c plus n of h plus n of b minus n of c intersection h minus n of c intersection b minus n of h intersection b plus n of c intersection h intersection b that equal to so first three terms we have to add what is that 224 plus 240 That is four sixty four, four sixty four plus three thirty six. That is total. These three terms is eight hundred minus minus n of c intersection h c intersection b h intersection b. So add these three terms. That is eighty plus forty one twenty one twenty plus sixty four one eighty four. So minus one eighty four. Plus n of c intersection h intersection b that equal to twenty four. Hence that equal to minus one eighty four plus twenty four minus one sixty eight hundred minus one sixty that equal to six forty eight hundred minus one sixty that equal to six forty. Hence what we required number of boys who did not play any game. This is the answer for who. play at least one game that is n of c union h union b but uh, don't play any game means uh, universal set uh, that is 800 minus uh, 640 that equal to 160 so this is the answer for the given question what's the 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ एन ऑफ ए इक्वल टू थाउजेंड कमा एन ऑफ बी इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड इफ एन ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू वन एंड एन ऑफ ए यूनियन बी इक्वल टू पी देन ऑप्शन ए फाइव हंड्रेड लेस देन आर इक्वल टू पी लेस देन आर इक्वल टू थाउजेंड ऑप्शन बी वन थाउजेंड वन लेस देन आर इक्वल टू पी लेस देन आर इक्वल टू वन फोर नाइन एट सी वन थाउजेंड लेस देन आर इक्वल टू पी लेस देन आर इक्वल टू वन फोर नाइन एट डी वन थाउजेंड लेस देन आर इक्वल टू पी लेस देन आर इक्वल टू वन फोर डबल नाइन गिवेन एन ऑफ ए इक्वल टू थाउजेंड एन ऑफ बी फाइव हंड्रेड एन ऑफ ए इंट सेक्शन बी ग्रेटर इक्वल टू वन एन ऑफ एन एंड बी इक्वल टू पी देन पी रेंज वी हाउ टू फाइंड दीज आर द ऑप्शन पी रेंज गिवेन एन ऑफ एन एंड बी रेंज सो इफ यू टेक द फॉर्मुला एन ऑफ ए यूनियन बी इक्वल टू एन ऑफ ए प्लस एन ऑफ बी माइनस एन ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी हेन्स हियर एन ऑफ एन एंड बी वैल्यू पी दट इक्वल एन ऑफ ए प्लस एन ऑफ बी दट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस एन ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी फ्रॉम दिस एन ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस पी Now n of a intersection B given greater than or equal to one. What is the meaning of a intersection B? A intersection B means it is common elements from A and B. Common elements means it is not greater than or equal to A, not greater than or equal to B. It is always less than or equal to A or B. Hence, what is in this two minimum value five hundred? Hence, n of a intersection B is always less than or equal to 500 only hence if you consider the condition 1 less than or equal to n of a intersection b is less than or equal to n of b that is 500 now apply the value 1500 minus p that equal to 1 less than or equal to 1500 minus p less than or equal to 500 hence if you take the minus Multiplication it will become minus one greater than or equal to p minus fifteen hundred is greater than or equal to minus five hundred. Now to get p only add fifteen hundred to three terms. Fifteen hundred minus one that is fourteen ninety nine is greater than or equal to p greater than or equal to fifteen hundred minus five hundred that equal to thousand. So fourteen ninety nine greater than equal to p greater than equal to thousand. What is the main important thing here? We have to remember n of a intersection b is always less than or equal to either n of a or n of b. So here less minimum value n of b. Hence we are taking five hundred. Then we can find the p range. So what is the answer here? Thousand to fourteen ninety nine. So option D is the correct answer. What's the next question? In a class, there are hundred students. In an examination, fifty of them failed in mathematics. Forty-five students failed in physics. Forty failed in biology, and thirty-two failed in exactly two of the three subjects. Only one student passed in all the three subjects. Then number of students. Failing in all the three subjects. Option A, twelve. Option B, four. Option C, two. Option D, cannot be determined from the given information. The students here about students total students given in a class n of u equal to hundred and. Failing case we are taking failing of subjects, but he included one more word. Number of students passed in all subjects is one. Then number of students failed is hundred minus one that equal to ninety nine. Then that is n of m union p union b. So n of m union p union b is total number of students failed is ninety nine. So hence, in that what we have to find g value we have to find how many students they failed in all the three subjects that is g. See here a m only b p only physics only 
C. Biology only. Next. M. Maths and Physics only. D. Physics and Biology only. E. And Maths and Biology only. That is F. 3 is G. Then with the given information, what he had given here? So, 100 students, 50, 45 and 40 students given here. That is, so 32 is exactly 2 students. 32 is exactly 2 students failed. Hence, N of mass only means A plus D plus F plus G. That is, A plus D plus F plus G equal to 50. Next, physics. B plus D plus E plus G. B plus D plus E plus G. That equal to 45. And biology that equal to C plus E plus F plus G. C plus E plus F plus G. That equal to 40. And 32 is two subjects exactly. That is D plus E plus F. D plus E plus F. That equal to 32. Hence, if you add these three, we will get A plus B plus C plus 2 times of D plus E plus F plus 3 times of G equal to 50 plus 45, 95 plus 40, 135. So, total it is 135. Here, D plus E plus F value 32. Hence, if you take here A plus B plus C plus 2 into 32 plus 3G equal to 135. Hence, the question is G only we have to find. How to eliminate this as failed students is 99. What are the failed students here? A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G equal to 99. That you have to observe here. One more equation. All failed students means A, B, C, D, E, F plus G. This value. Now, see, if you observe these two equations, by taking the subtraction, then we can get A plus B plus C cancelled and 2 into D, e, D plus E plus F minus D plus E plus F, D plus E plus F, 3G minus G, that equal to 2G that equal to 135 minus 99 it will become 36 hence here D plus E plus F value given 32 32 plus 2G equal to 36 then 2G equal to 4 hence G equal to 2 so the number of students who failed in all three subjects is 2 students What's the next question? Consider the non-empty set consisting of children in a family and a relation are defined as A related to B. A is brother of B. Then R is. Option A, symmetric but not transitive. Option B, transitive but not symmetric. Option C, neither symmetric nor transitive. Option D, both symmetric and transitive. The students here, R is relation given between A and B as A is brother of B. So, A is brother of B means, you can think, here, A is brother of A. It is not possible. Any person is not brother of himself. So, that's why it is not reflexive. So, it is not reflexive. Next, if A is brother of B, can I say B is brother of A? So, we can't say. Why? A is brother of B means B may be male or female. So, hence, B may be sister also. If B is sister, B is sister of A, not brother of A. 
so this possibility also not there hence it is not symmetric so it is not symmetric also not reflexive also next third option transitivity a is brother of b and b is brother of c hence a is brother of b b is brother of c hence you can say a is brother of c so clearly it is a transitive property hence transitivity is satisfied so the given relation here not reflexive not symmetric it is a transitive so the difficult thing is here we have to observe symmetric property only if a is brother of b b is brother of a or b is sister of a there is two possibilities that is the difficult thing that we have to observe very clear so what is the answer it is a transitive what's the next question the maximum number of equivalence relations on the set capital a equal to 1 2 3 or option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 5 the students given set is a equal to 1 2 3 maximum number of equivalence relations that we have to find so suppose if you take the set of ordered pair 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 it is clearly reflexive symmetric and transitive also so symmetric and transitive means if a b belongs to a and b a belongs to b then only symmetric so clearly it is symmetric transitive property there is a confusion to all students if a b b c both belongs to set then a c we have to verify otherwise if a b only belongs b c does not belongs means no need to verify transitivity it is clearly transitive hence it is reflexive symmetric transitive it is an equivalence relation then with the sets 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 1 2 2 1 if you take it is symmetric related and next in the third set we will take instead of 1 2 2 1 we will take 2 3 and 3 2 these three sets as it is we will continue here and in the third set this set as it is will continue reflexive set here we will take the third one 1 3 and 3 1 so these four are equivalence relations only next one more we will take total sets in the cartesian product a cross a is total number of elements is nine elements that nine elements we will take together that is 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 2 2 1 1 3 3 1 and 2 3 3 2 total 9 elements we will take this is total ordered pair means it is clearly an equivalence relation so equivalence relations number of maximum equivalence relations we can define on the set a 1 2 3 any 3 element set that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 equivalence relations we can define the students we came to the end of episode in a regular pattern we are going to give one challenge question to you from sets and relations watch your question on the screen let capital r be the relation on the set capital r of all real numbers defined by a related to b if and only if mod of a minus b less than or equal to 1 then capital r is option a reflexive and symmetric option b symmetric only option c transitive only option d anti-symmetric only send your answers via sms in the following format type s r d g iphone m a t iphone 1 3 and your option a r b or c or d send it to 
डबल फोर एट सिक्स नाइन वन फाइव फर्स्ट थ्री एस एम एस सेंडर्स विथ रईट आपशन विल गेट ए गिफ्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन सैट्स एंड रिलेशन मेन इंपारटेंट फार्मुलास आर एन आफ ए यूनियन बी अंड एन आफ ए यूनियन बी यूनियन सी दर इज मैक्सिम नंबर आफ क्वेश्चन आन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो ट्रई टू डू द प्रिपरेशन वेल आन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो वित् न्यू टापिक इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ई विल कैच यू अंटिल देन बाय बाय Daini Residential School KR Nagar Harihar Admissions open from nursery to 10th CBSE syllabus Shrimati Radha Bai D Gopal Rao PU College Admissions open for PUC Science and Commerce and Vidya Daini Degree College Admissions open for BCom and BA Contact today 9448115118